a Siri. Turn on the plug. It's Jerry here from Jerry's Tech Corner and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and install your smart plug to the Smart Life application and Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa and Apple Siri. So now this is my smart plug. If your smart plug looks like this with the on and off switch here. So you can, so this video is for you to watch. So I'm going to give you a review as well. And so I just recently got this smart plug. It has is using Wi-Fi connection. You can remotely control it from the Smart Life app or the Google Home app. And it has timing schedules. You can control it using voice control. As you can see here is a Wi-Fi smart plug. Wi-Fi. And this is how it looks like. So the specification for this smart plug it is connected to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and is 16 MB uh, volts. So, yeah, let's get started. I'll plug in my switch to the socket and we'll set it up from there. Alright, so now I've connected it to my cable right here. So I'm just going to... As you can see, it is now pulsing blue and red. It's now red. So now let's go into the app and set it up and connect it to the Wi-Fi and setting up to our voice assistance as well all right so i've got my ipad right here i'm just going to head into the smart life application here and now let's connect it to so for our one we will choose a socket wi-fi because it's a wi-fi so we choose wi-fi so now we'll connect it to our wi-fi net so always make sure that your this smart for this smart plug is only compatible with 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi right so now they are asking me to power on a device after it has been powered off for 10 seconds all right i've powered it off so now they said to hold the indicator button button until it the light so let's try it out is it done Oh yeah, it is. It is blinking. All right. So now let's tap next. All right. Our light is blinking rapidly. So confirm lights are blinking rapidly. Just tap tap next. Okay. So it's now founding a device. So it's now adding it to my home, which is Wi-Fi plug. All right. Now my Wi-Fi plug has been added. Just going to tap next. I'm going to give a name. So let's charger and it's going to be in my uh, study room and let's just tap done. Alright, it's now added successfully. So now let's try out some simple functions with the smart plug. So now I have my iPad charger right here. So I'm just going to plug it in right here. Now let's see whether if it's charging. Let's combine the cable here. All right, it shows it's charging, but when I tap it off, okay, it's not charging anymore. So when we tap it on, all right, it's charging. Yay, it's working. So now we can also have a timer function. So I can schedule it when do I off it or when do I on it. So here I can tap a schedule. I can add a time for it to on the charger, for example. I can have circulate or random timing, countdown, and more as well. And over here, I get the function to change the name of it. And down here, setting which I can have child lock, relay status, and switch lock as well. Yay, so now let we have connected it to Smart Life. Now let's connect it to, to, with our different voice assistant, which that I think that's the best part of Smart Home. On my mobile device, as you can see now, this is my Smart Life app. I have my bedroom lights over here. If you haven't watched a video of me setting up bedroom lights with a Google Assistant, you can click the I button at the top of the video right now. So as you can see here, we've got the charger. And we've got some simple functions there, which I can on it or off it. As you guys can have seen it just now. Maybe I'm just going to change the name of this 
uh maybe i'm not gonna put charger maybe i'm gonna put uh the bedroom club so i'm just gonna save it bedroom plug is located in the study room so as you can see now i've already changed the name so for google assistant we'll just head into the google home application here you'll go to the google home app as you can see this is my home jerry's home and actually i've already linked my smart plug my smart life account to google home if you haven't did that yet you just tap the plus icon at the top set, set up device so we have actually already set this device up so we are just going to tap something that works with google so we are just going to type search for smart life as you can see i've already connected my smart life account so you're just going to tap it and you're going to log into your smart life account uh, do remember your username and password because they are going to ask you that and you just have to authorize Google Assistant with Smart Life. So that's how you connect it with the Google Assistant. So now let's go back to Google Home app. Now let's go to the bedroom plug. So let's add it to a room. Let's go to Jerry's home. Uh, so it's added to Jerry's home. More devices. So we're going to set it this device in the bedroom. All right, so the device was now currently changing to the bedroom. As you can see now, we have the bedroom plug. So can I, when I come here, I can turn it on or off. So now it's on. As you can see now, my iPad is charging, but you guys can't see it now. So yeah, and another cool feature that I really want to try out, uh, which now Google has the latest update to change your the device type. So my device type is now an air con uh, outlet. If I change it to a kettle, right, so I'm going to still say bedroom plug. As you can see now, after when I change it to a kettle, it will now appear as a kettle icon, but I'm not going to have it. So I can change it to different types, a fan, which I think that's actually really very cool. As you can see, bedroom plug, but it's now changed to a fan. So I'm still gonna, I'm just gonna change it to an outlet. I'm just gonna keep it to the original icon. Now, uh, yeah, back to normal. Now this is how you get to connect your smart plug with your Google Assistant. So now let's try it out to adding it to Amazon Alexa. So we have connected our smart plug to the Google Assistant. Now let's connect our smart plug to the Amazon Alexa. So this is the Amazon Assistant app. I'm not going to say the word to activate it, otherwise it will activate it. So I'll just hit into the app. This is the Amazon Assistant app. So once you head into the app, you're going to select uh, more. And you go to skills and games. And after you go to skills and games, you will head to your skills. And you, all right, let's go to your skills. And later we'll search for Smart Life because that's the app that we have set our smart plug up. So we're going to search for Smart Life. All right. So now let's find it out. All right. There you go, the first one, Smart Life. You just tap on it and enable uh, Alexa with the, the app. And you're gonna log in with your Smart Life account and your password. So you can do, and, and over here you can show all types of commands. So after you've linked and authorized it to Alexa, you'll go to the your device section and you'll see your plugs here. So you can basically just on and off, which is the same from the Google Home app. And that's what you can do with the Amazon Alexa. Now let's head to Apple Siri. All right, so now we have already connected our smart plug with the Google Assistant and the Amazon Assistant. So now let's connect it to Apple Siri. But for Siri, I will be not using the Apple Home app, which is that's the app for Apple to for smart home devices. But 
remember if you want to have Siri connected to your smart plug you need to have Siri enabled on your iPad or iPhone or other Apple devices so to so enable it you just go to settings you go to Siri and search and you are you have to activate Siri here and also note that if, since yes we have activate uh, connected our smart plug to smart life so scroll down here and find for smart life and make sure you have enabled Siri here so go here Siri and enable everything first so once you have enabled that let's head into the smart life application all right so now let's go under smart uh, as you can see, I've got lots of tab to run here. So at the top here, you have the plus icon. Uh, we're going to tap launch to run, run the device. So since we set it up through our bedroom plug, so let's choose bedroom plug. So let's choose switch one. Example, uh, we'll choose on. And next. So this is just an example. I'll be deleting that later. So save. Alright, so as you can see from the bottom here, we've got the word there, add to Siri. So as you can see over here, I think this is the one that I've saved, bedroom plug, switch it on. So to add it, just add it here. And so this is the Siri message. This is basically just adding an Apple shortcut. So when I say uh, bedroom plug, switch it on, I can even customize it. I will say out the bedroom plug will be switched on so as you can see add it to Siri so let's add it to Siri all right should be added to Siri and now you can also see your Siri shortcuts under the shortcut app shortcuts app as you can see here I've added bedroom plug switch one on so that's great I can customize it from here as well oh I mean I can run the device here I'm sorry so now I can run the device here, but to customize it, yeah, I think you've got to go to the Smart Life app to do it. So that's how you control uh, Apple Siri for, uh, to, for your smart plug and choose Smart Life.